This week we are at the rooms inside the artist studio with artist Peter Wilkins to look at a new exhibit called Newtopia. It's a, sort of, it's a group show of four Newfoundland-based artists um, trying to capture the sort of utopian ideals of, that exist in Newfoundland, whether they be business ventures through Joe Smallwood, sort of things like Pleasantville, and um, Gander Airport, where I did some work which, yeah, was quite utopian. Tell me about your work. Um, it is based at Gander Airport, which was built in the late 50s and is an absolute sort of modernist design icon. I mean, it's had all these top amazing designers to create the furniture and the floors. And so I just went to the airport and hung out for a couple of days, actually nearly a week in total, taking photographs and trying to capture it in the way that I wanted to do. And then I tried to make those, rather than just present them as straight photographs, I have sort of reflected and repeated them to make patterns so they work from a distance as abstract pieces. But when you get up close, you can see the detail of the furniture. And so, you know, hopefully they work on multiple levels. How do you think of this? Well, I first um, saw... I mean, I'd always heard about Gander Airport being an amazing place. And then I saw it in a design magazine. I thought, gosh, I must do a piece. Yeah, I'd love to go and do some work and see it. Um, and then Bruce, the curator, said he was doing a show on Utopia. And I said, oh, Gander, yes, I've got to go there. I really want to do some work. So I went there and started doing the work. And it all just sort of evolved from the processes I already used. And I sort of expanded them a bit. And, you know, it was just wonderful fun. What was what most struck you about the airport? I, that it is... Because when it was built and completed, and I think in 59, it only existed or worked at its full capacity for about two years. And then all the international flights went directly from North America to Europe, and they missed out Gander because they didn't need to refuel. And because everybody who was everybody, anybody, had stopped there before, you know, it was very glitzy and very, very stylish. Um, and so now it's still exactly as it was pretty much in 1962. You know, it's the same furniture, I guess the same colours, I don't know that, might not be there, the same floor, you know, so it's just amazing. And it's, so it's almost been kept in a time capsule. It's never used. Well, well, it is, but, it's, um, but not in the sort of... Mm. It was designed to have thousands and thousands go through every day, but you know, now there's some international flights, but not that many at all. I did one large, um, a big sort of installation piece, which is, DV, is a projection of the halls going to the gates where the airplanes leave from. And they're what I call perpetual videos, and they're sort of very long corridors, and it looks like you're making progress getting going down them, but you're not actually getting any closer or any further. And they're opposite each other, so there's one that's called Coming, and it looks like you're arriving, but you're not. And then if you turn directly around, there's one called Going, and it looks like you're going, and you just don't know whether you're coming or going. You're caught in between the two. Newtopia at the Rooms Art Gallery is on display until January 25th. Inside the Artist Studio, I'm Tony Marie Wiseman.